the No Fate channel, checking in. And today's episode of the Supplement Review is going to be a game changer as I review InnoSup's Clean Vegan Protein. On this series, I review a supplement every episode to help you decide if it is right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard-earned money. From InnoSupps, I have their clean vegan protein. We're going to go over the macros, the ingredients, how it mixes, how it tastes, how much it costs, and who should be taking in a vegan protein. Ever since Netflix published or released the documentary Game Changer, which was a pro-vegetarian, pro-vegan documentary, there's been a big discussion and a big push towards vegan proteins. So it's about time that I reviewed one. Here we go. InnoSupps is clean vegan protein, lactose-free, soy-free, lab-tested, 100% vegan, uh, one bottle, 25 servings. One serving is 34.9 grams, 3 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbohydrates, which is 1 gram of fiber, and 0 grams of sugar, which is nice to see, and then 25 grams of protein. For ingredients, we have pea protein. So the majority, or if not all, the protein in those 25 grams is coming from pea protein. Also, there's alkalized cocoa powder, salt, calcium, potassium, and a number of organic ingredients in here. I'm not going to bother reading off the list because not only is it a strain on the eyes, but it would take some time. But keep in mind, one of the nice standouts on this ingredient profile is how everything, if not everything, is organic in some form or fashion. So certainly dedicated towards that vegan um, community or that vegan lifestyle and a really good ingredients profile. Clean vegan protein comes in two flavors. I got my hands on chocolate brownie. For mixability, I used water in a whisking ball, mixed fine, no issues with mixability. However, with taste, it, the taste just wasn't there. When I think chocolate brownie, I don't think clean vegan protein. Unfortunately, the pea protein that they used in there definitely stood out. I definitely thought that I was eating like a bunch I was swallowing like liquid peas at some points. My, my expectations might have been too high because I do tend to review proteins that have artificial sweeteners in them and a lot of other different stuff that will add to that flavoring. Um, unfortunately, the pea protein in here just gave it a bad taste in my mouth and I didn't care for it. I will say if you're going to be mixing this protein with food sources, with baking and a blender with fruits and whatnot, then it's probably going to taste a lot better than I mixed it with just water but I do got to give a fair review and I just couldn't handle the taste. Let's talk about cost. If you go over to InnoSupps.com, you can get this down to $1.60 per serving or 6.48 cents per gram of protein. Keep in mind that is an everyday price with everyday coupons. A few ways to save money if you want to bring that price point down. I think if you buy in bulk, you can save money. If you do a subscription where they send you like a bottle of this every month, you can save money that way as well. So there are a number of ways out there to save money. I don't have any coupon codes, but obviously keep in mind that $1.60 per serving is probably the highest you should ever pay. You could certainly bring it down lower than that. So let's talk about who is a vegan protein right for. First and foremost, obviously, if you are 100% vegan, then yes, you want to get yourself a clean vegan protein. And this one, based on the ingredients, is certainly a very, very good one. Um, I can't really say that the taste was very good, but I'm sure as a vegan, you probably know how to make things taste a lot better using a whole bunch of different food sources to add flavor to something that might not have that kick that you expect. Now, if you're allergic to whey, not just lactose intolerant, but 100% allergic to whey, you want to get another protein source, I would still probably shy you away from clean vegan protein. In terms of bioavailability, whey is clearly the best, scientifically stating. Um, vegan protein is going to be lower on that scale. I would still try to shy you away from the vegan protein and push you towards whole protein sources that you're not allergic to. Uh, as a quick, if you really wanted to get protein in, real quick, um, on the fly, something that you could drink. I would even steer you towards liquid egg whites, believe it or not. They don't actually taste bad. They're pasteurized. You won't get sick from them. They're a great source of protein, and they're relatively inexpensive if you buy them by the big cartons. Um, but that's just one alternative. Obviously, ideally, you want to get whole food sources. I just have to say that the vegan protein is probably toward, pushed towards someone who's 100% vegan and looking to get that extra protein into their diet. Um, otherwise, I just honestly think that there's better sources of protein out there, whether it's whole food protein or whether it is just protein shakes in general, as long as you're not allergic to them, whether it's you know lactose or just allergic allergy to whey entirely. 
Hopefully you found this video informative. Drop a comment below. I'm probably not doing this clean vegan protein justice. If you've reviewed this in the past, if you've tasted this in the past, drop it in the comments below what you thought of it. Because obviously I haven't reviewed very many uh, vegan proteins, so my expectations might be different than reality. Drop it in the comments below. I love getting feedback from my viewers, from my subscribers, and we can have an open discussion about where this truly stands, because um, I don't like to bash products, especially ones where I haven't really reviewed a very large spectrum in that market. And clearly, I've only reviewed a handful of vegan proteins up to this date. If you came this far in the video, please, as, of, as I mentioned, drop a comment below. Give this video a like. We got to keep the lights on. I just My light just went off, right? I'm not paying the electric bills. We're in trouble. So obviously, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. If you've come this far in the video, as usual, thank you for watching. And don't save anything I am for the trip to back. helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.